Welcome, sports fans. This is my response to Riley's video that is Aussie tries American candy for the first time. Shocking. My disclaimer is I appreciate Riley's uh, attempt at doing this. This was great. He had a great video. But this is my personal opinion and no one else's. No one put me up to this. I was not paid to do this. So here is my response to Riley's video. I would like to say thank you to Riley for allowing me to do this response. And this was all due in good fun. And if you object to it, please leave a comment down below. And please go check out Riley's videos. What is going on everybody? It is Riley here and I'm here back with another video. Today we're going to be trying American candy for the first time. A lot of these candies you may have heard of and they're super popular in America. Some of them are in Australia, in our supermarkets and stuff, but they're not super common. So guys, I actually got these from a lolly shop. So what we're going to be trying first is the Takis Intense Nacho. Trying what? I've never heard of this. Takis, or T-A-K-I-S. Never heard of that. So I'll have to go to the supermarket and see if I can find any of these uh, candies that he's talking about here. Now, these are made in Mexico, but they are super popular in the U.S. I don't think they're that popular. Okay, whatever. Okay, guys, did you know that Takis were actually originally made in Mexico in 1999? I did not know that information. Thanks. And were introduced to the United States in 2004. So our next thing is Jolly Ranchers. So Jolly Ranchers, I think, are super popular. I would agree with him that the Jolly Ranchers candy is very popular, yes. But he's got Jolly Ranchers gummies. I've never had Jolly Ranchers gummies. I have always had the Jolly Ranchers hard candy. And these are delicious. I used to go to the store and just get the peach ones. That was the bomb. Okay, so guys, a fun fact about Jolly Ranchers is they were first created in 1949 and come, I think they first might have started in Colorado in the United States. I'm not certain about that one, but I'm pretty sure it was from Colorado, United States. I did not know that trivia, but that is great information. Thank you, Riley. Okay, guys, so I did buy these. So these are candy corn. Now, candy corns are an American candy. Okay, so fun facts about the candy corn. They've been in existence for over 100 years. Wow, 100 years. I didn't know that. Thanks, Riley. Another fun fact is a lot of people do believe that candy corn should be eaten a certain way. I would totally agree. There is only one way to eat the candy corn. So a lot of people believe that, that you should start eating them by the white bit of the... I had never heard of that. There is a totally different way of eating the candy corn. The proper way that I use it is you open up the bag and just throw it in the trash. There's no need for the candy corn. Tip and then go down. But a lot of people just eat them whole. So we're just going to eat it whole. Mmm. Very interesting. I'm not too sure what to quite think about it. Just watching him eat it makes me not feel good. Trash. I'm sorry you had to endure it, but hey, you do you. My next candy is hot tamale. Yes, a candy that finally I would agree with Riley 100% the hot tamales. Hot tamales are hot, they're too hot for me, and again, I would not eat them. I would not recommend them, I would not want to uh, cause anybody any great pain. Apparently the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups were originally invented by Harry Burnett Reese, who actually once worked at Hershey's Dairy Farm. I have to stop you right there. I thought you were going to talk about the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. This is the proper way to buy them, is by the box. As you see, I've already indulged in a few of these. So here is my take upon the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I'm going to be trying the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and telling you how I like it. So yeah, let's go. So first thing you do is you have to open it. Second thing you do is look at the amazing Reese's. Third thing you do, pick it up. Open it again, and then, delicious. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> and and, and a, a scale from one to ten, what would you give it? Eight. Okay. Really good. And you get two cups in there, right? Yeah. Two cups. Okay. So that's very interesting. So he once worked at a 
Hershey's farm, Hershey's dairy farm, and then invented the race chocolate. That's actually super interesting. Okay, so apparently, Milton S. Hershey introduced the soon-to-be iconic milk chocolate. But this is the Hershey milk chocolate bar that I thought he was going to give a taste test to. He's got a cookies and cream, which is a new version of the Hershey bar, which is not exactly as the Hershey bar. Uh, in 1900, chocolate was a treat once reserved for the wealthy, but Mr. Hershey saw to make his candy an affordable treat for anyone to enjoy. This is the cookies and cream one, not the milk chocolate one that was introduced 124 years ago. So this is older than every candy we have here. So out of all these candies, the oldest one here is the Hershey's bar. Hershey's Cookies and Cream is the candy bar manufactured by the Hershey's company and first introduced in 1994. I would like to say that Riley did a great job with his uh, video, but I just he felt did like a great I just had job to give a, a little bit hindsight of and trivial facts about it. It was great, and his rating scale was his own. I really appreciate it. Just wanted to give a little bit of correct information. And here I took a trip to store and see all the shelves with all the American candy. There's M&M's, great, Kit Kats, and Reese's, and Whoppers, and Crunch Bars, and Butterfingers. That's some good stuff there. Please press the like button. And please subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment down below. I always like reading people's comments.